Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna do something a bit different, okay? I'm not gonna show you any tip on production, I'm not gonna show you any of my tracks or VSTs or plugins or thing like that. Today I will be replying to your questions. I asked it on my Instagram um, to send me some questions that you wanted me to be replying on this video and you sent me a lot of uh, questions don't forget to follow me on instagram because i reply to all messages to all comments and things like that and this way next time i ask you for some questions you can send it to me and i will be replying on these videos the first question is by victor Celis. he is spanish and asking me in spanish so i will be translating the question he's asking uh when did i start producing and what inspired me well the thing is that i started around 2012 or thing like that but uh, my computer crashed and um, I started using the computer of my father and it was a super 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 bad computer. I couldn't produce with it so until 2013 that I went to university I didn't have a computer. The, the first one I had was really bad computer too but I could produce. So I started producing on some tracks and so on but until 2015 more or less or 16 I didn't start working hard on this. And about what inspired me, um, in 2011 or 2012 I discovered uh, Spaceman by Harwell. And I don't know, I started uh, listening to some Harwell on Air uh, podcast and I liked that EDM music. And one day I decided to, to, to search uh, in the internet how to make that, that kind of music, you know, and just started with that. The next question is by my Paul Sign, sorry if I pronounce it uh, in a bad way. Uh, he's asking, uh, do you DJ? If no, then are you going to start it soon and why? I don't DJ, um, I just tried one to DJ. The thing is that in my area there aren't that much clubs. Uh, what's normal is to create, uh, to like build little stages on, on the street. And I don't really like the the like the feeling that it's in there. Uh, people like to, um, to listen to Latin house and reggaeton and I don't want to play that. So probably um, I'm not gonna play in those kind of parties and I don't know where when I, I'm gonna start um, DJ. More questions by Manpo. Uh, he's asking, what are your views about dubstep and EV trap? Are you going to try the genres? Um, I didn't really listen to EV trap a lot of times, so just a couple of tracks. And about dubstep, uh, I like it. I like uh, like aggressive dubstep, but I also like um, like melodic one, you know? And I tried to produce melodic dubstep, but I don't know, I just tried uh, once or twice and left it there because uh, it didn't give me like a like a good feeling about that I really wanted to do it. Next question, um, everyone argues that it's all about your creativity, is it true even if you don't have even a decent pair of headphones or speakers? Well, I think it's not all about creativity, I think it's more about how uh, it's about marketing, you know? Because there are a lot of uh, big artists that are on the top 100 of DJ Mag and they just copy tracks of other people, you know, exactly the same style, the same lead, the same sound, the same rhythm, almost the same melodies, you know, and they sell those tracks to millions of people, they get uh, millions of views and so on, so it's not really about creativity, it's more about marketing. But yeah, of course, if you are more creative and you create a unique sound and so on, uh, you will be more unique. And about the headphone on, or speakers, I started with a really, 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 really bad headphones. You're just starting, the, you don't really need to buy some speakers or really good headphones. Just uh, start with something that you have at your house. And if you really like it, if you really enjoy making music, try to upgrade that. Next question on YouTube is by Black Coaster. How do you feel that a video with over a million views has your music in it? Um, I don't really know what to say, you know. Uh, one day I search my name on YouTube because sometimes there are uh, YouTube channels that I don't know that I love my, my tracks, you know, and I want to discover those channels. And I didn't remember that one channel uploaded my track alone and I didn't know that it has uh, 1.5 million views. Uh, it was so fucking awesome, you know. Um, the m most played track on YouTube by myself, it was uh, like 300,000 plays or more or less. But this is... Uh, it's crazy, you know? <laughs> Another one by Man Paul Sign. Uh, if you wanted to change your name once, what would it be? Um, well, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, uh, you may know that um, I'm thinking of switching my name because Eric Rodriguez is my real name and it's super generic and so on. So I'm thinking of changing my name and if I do it, it will be so soon. 
so if you want to know it uh, just follow me on my social medias but of course I will also uh, make a video here letting you know that I will switch the name another one on YouTube by God Calvin um, you did a good job yes I don't know how did you learn in the end production and when you started well uh, when you started I already uh, replied to the question and how did you learn in the end production uh, just uh, trying by myself just using FO studio and watching lot 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 of YouTube tutorials I never went to school of production or thing like that. I just watch it uh, YouTube tutorials and try it what uh, they explain and now I have three questions that a lot of people asked me the first one is where are you from? I'm from Spain. I live in a small town in the region of Alicante near the sea the second one is mm, about my dream collab I don't really know who would be my dream collab. I mean if I think about the exposure, um, I think I would say or Kashmir, of course, Martin Garrix, of course, Harwell, of course, like everybody. But I think I won't choose Kashmir because I don't really like his style. It's nice, you know, and he produces like a, like a fucking god, but I don't really like his style. And about Harwell or Martin Garrix, I think I would choose Harwell because I think he knows more uh, about production and uh, his tracks are better mixed than the Martin Garrix ones, in my opinion. That would choose uh, Harwell, but if I don't think on exposure, I think I would choose or Julian Galore or The Vision because I love uh, Progressive House of The Vision and I fucking love the chords and the sound design of Julian Galore. That would choose one of those. And the third question is um, why I don't make uh, Spanish tutorials. Okay, uh, first I will be replying this question in Spanish and then in English, okay, so you all understand it. Vale, para los españoles, eh, empecé a hacer tutoriales en español. ¿De acuerdo? Eh, hacía la, el mismo tutorial en inglés y luego en español subía las dos versiones. ¿Qué pasa? Eh, no llega ni al 10% la cantidad de gente que me ve que hable español. Y me lleva muchísimo tiempo, no, no, comparando con las versiones en inglés, no me, no, no me generaban realmente reproducciones ni nada de eso. Entonces tuve que dejarlo porque, por ejemplo, la serie que hice de cómo hacer Progressive House no, podía, no podría haberla hecho en español y en inglés. Me hubiese quitado demasiado tiempo porque es preparar los vídeos, eh, grabar en los dos idiomas, editar en los dos idiomas, subir en los dos idiomas, hacer las dos miniaturas y es muchísimo trabajo. Por eso no, no, no los hago en español, pero si no entendéis algo o queréis preguntarme algo, preguntadlo que yo siempre contesto tanto en YouTube como en Facebook como en Instagram, en todos lados contesto siempre. And now for the English people, um, I just said that um, I don't do Spanish tutorials. I, I started doing Spanish tutorials, but only 10% of people that watch my videos uh, speak Spanish. I had to stop making Spanish tutorials because it takes so much time to make the same video in English and in Spanish, to edit uh, both videos, to uh, render both videos and those things. So I just uh, stopped making them. Guys, that's the end of this video. If you have any more questions that you want me to uh, be replying on, on Q&A videos, just send it to my Instagram or here on YouTube or wherever. So just that, guys, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe uh, so you don't miss any video, share this video if you want it, leave a comment, uh, whatever. Everything is free, so you don't have to pay anything for all those things. So, and guys, see you in the next video.